Hey guys, welcome to Technical Beardo here. Today in this video, we'll talk about one iPhone issue regarding a Touch ID setup. So whenever I tried setting my Touch ID, it says that it's failed with a message saying unable to complete Touch ID setup. Please go back and try again. So guys, here the problem is that my Touch ID is unfunctional or disabled in between. So normally it's working and suddenly it stops working on my iPhone SE 2. So guys here as a solution I tried multiple things like rebooting a device, force rebooting my device or even changing the networks. I tried everything here but only one solution works for me and that is resetting all settings here. Yes, resetting all settings worked for me. For that do one thing, go to your settings. First of all, go to settings, go to general and here scroll down till the last option. There is an option called reset and transfer iPhone. Tap on that. And here tap on reset and here reset all settings tap on that enter the passcode okay and just click on next here so it will completely wipe your customer settings from iPhone and get back to you default settings on your iPhone like a fresh one so here after this while resetting all settings on your iPhone you might get an option like press home to upgrade and that time you will notice that it says that press home button to upgrade but here you can't do it because it's unfunctional it's disabled on your iphone right that time what to do so here just force reboot your device like press volume up button release press down button release and press and hold the power button until the apple logo comes up so it will automatically force reboot your device and here once you force reboot your iphone it will continue as usual that is updating your device and guys normally this option doesn't come up on your screen while resetting all settings on your iPhone if it is comes then you do the settings after that once you reset all settings on your iPhone you will see that your home button is working now and if you go to settings and try to register a touch ID it will work as well so after this after resetting all settings on your iPhone you can fix the issue on your iPhone with this trick. So guys that's it. I hope you got this video. I hope it was a helpful video for you. And if yes, please give a like. Please subscribe for more videos on iPhone tips and tricks and iPhone solutions. Until then, thank you very much. Bye bye. Take care. See you in the next video.